Hey guys, as most of you probably already know, we had the Google I.O. keynote yesterday, and although we didn't get an upgrade in the Android version, we did get an update in some of the core apps, which includes stuff like Google Hangouts, Google Music, Google Now, Google Books, and some stuff like that. So I wanted to make this video to show you those UI changes and show you the changes they made in those core apps, because uh, some of them are pretty decent. Now, the first one I want to talk about is Google Hangouts right here, and this is kind of a redesigned, reimagined Google Talk. And when I first heard they were going to release this sort of app, I kind of hoped they were going to do a unified messaging app. So I hope they were going to integrate Google Talk, Google Voice, your SMS and all that stuff into one app. They haven't really done that. Really, it's just Google Talk redesigned. So if you use Google Talk, that's great. It's uh, linked really well with Google+. Plus. If you don't, it's probably not going to be much use to you. Hopefully, they will integrate SMS and all that other stuff later on, but let's go ahead and check it out. So you open it up right here, it does overtake, it does um, install over your Google Talk, I should say. And it's really easy, it's a really simple app. You can see my Hangouts right here. If you swipe from the right to the left, you get this nice animation showing you all the people in your uh, in your address book. And you can click the ones, these are your favorite ones right here. And you can click these and you can see you can either do a message or a video call. You can uh, easily take them out and put them back in. There's no problems, the app works really well, it's very slick, it's uh, very smooth, transitions are nice, you get a lot of images and a lot of different uh, stuff like this right here, and you know you can go ahead and post a picture and all that stuff like that. And you've got some options up here as well, like uh, new group hangout, turn off history, archive, delete, and you can also mute the post as well if you don't want to uh, have any notifications from it. So. I think this app would be absolutely awesome if it just integrated everything else, like the SMS and all that other stuff that I spoke about before, like Google Voice. That all needs to be in one app. I don't want to have four different apps for all that stuff. So uh, nonetheless, that's the change they made there. Next up, we got Google Play Music, and they also added a streaming service called All Access. And uh, this is just like Spotify and Pandora, except it's a Google version, and it looks pretty awesome. It's $9.99. That is in dollars, because right now it is only available in the USA. Hopefully, it'll come to the UK soon, but the service does look pretty cool, and it's quite cheap. So, uh, yeah. Now, let's go ahead and check out the app. So, if, as I open it here, you can see it has been, again, completely redesigned. And again, I really like this. So, if we pull from the left to the right, you get this uh, shade coming out that gives you your listen now, my library, playlists, instant mixes, and shop. And it, let's just go into uh, an album right here, and you can see it's set out really nicely. We've got uh, some nice album art right here, and we've got the band members at the top. If I just go into another album and show you that uh, it does pick it out from anywhere, go into Skrillex, and you can see right there it's done the same thing. So uh, let's just go back into Muse, because, you know, Muse are awesome. And let's play a song. So we'll just play Supremacy right now. You can hear that playing. If you want to uh, check it out, you can pull up from the bottom here. You can see the uh, whole kind of player. And if you want to check out what's next, you can kind of have a little peek just by uh, swiping from the left to right. And if you want to fully change, you can swipe all the way. Now, what I really like about this app is if you decide that you really like this song, for example, and you want to listen to other songs like this, you can press the uh, menu button up here and you can say start instant mix. Now it will pick the songs that it thinks are similar to this from your uh, library. So now if I swipe from the left to the right, you can see it's picked songs that it thinks are similar. If you press the uh, list up here, you can see them all. If you decide that, actually, I don't want to listen to this song or it's not it's not right, you can uh, just swipe it away and that's it. It's gone. So instant mixes are pretty awesome. This whole app on, and its complete redesign is actually uh, really awesome. And like I said, I really want to try out the All Access service because that allows you to do instant mixes on that as well. And it allows you to uh, make radios and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, that's the Google Play Music. Moving on to Google now, they've added a few more cards, which is always awesome because you get more information. You can see them right here, new albums, new books, new TV episodes and new video games. But the biggest upgrade to Google now for me is the location-based reminders. I've been waiting for this one for a while and it's awesome that it's now here. So for example, let me just uh, show you what this means. Remind me to call John when I get to work. Simple as that, and you can see it worked really well. And it's got my work address right here. You can see that's a location base, and it says call John right at the top. And you can just press set reminder, and that's it. Now, when I get to work and the GPS recognizes that I'm at work, I'll get that notification in my status bar reminding me to call John. So uh, that's just awesome. You can do loads of different ones. For example, remind me to take the pizza out the freezer when I get home. 
So there you go again, it's a location-based reminder. It's got my home address and at the top, take the pizza out the freezer. So you can just press the set reminder and it's good to go. I don't need to actually do that. But uh, yeah, it's really awesome from Google now that they've finally got location-based reminders. Last thing I wanna show you guys is the Google Play Books app and we'll go ahead and open that right here. And what you should have noticed is all the core Google apps have a very similar design. You know, you pull from the left to the right to get this little tab. And I think that's awesome because it gives it a much more professional and polished look. We've got Read Now, my library and shop just like in the uh, music when we pulled from left to right we had all that same options so it's definitely a good job from google there making it look more polished and professional the layout of the app again is really nice you can see here we can scroll down for recommended stuff and we've got recents as well i don't really use the book app at all but uh yeah there you go the book app is redesigned as well so uh, there you have it guys those are the main ui changes in the core google apps they did obviously release and announce a lot more stuff in the Google I.O. that I haven't mentioned right here, like the uh, game service. I'll check that out when it gets properly released and we can actually see it. But uh, yeah, those are the main UI changes in the core Google apps. Peace out.